Hey everyone, in this video I would like to run through with you how to modify your 9XR Pro to add in three three position switches. Okay, now this is one I've modified earlier. What we are going to do in this video, uh, we're going to replace the elevation switch, the, I think that's the, uh, what's that one, the rudder switch, and this switch over here, the aileron switch, all with three position switches. As you can see, we have up, middle, and down. Okay, on all of those switches, here's the LE switch, up, middle, and down, and this switch. Okay, we've got back, middle, and forward. Okay, so as I said, quickly, in this video, we're going to replace these three switches with three position switches. Okay, I'm not going to show you all the soldering, actual soldering going on, um, just to keep the video down. But anyway, the first thing you have to do is, of course, open the backup of your 9XR Pro, and you also will need to take off the face plate. Okay, there are eight little uh, screws there. Just simply take them off and pop off your face plate because you'll need to access to take off some of these switches. Okay, so we're going to start with the hardest switch first to replace. Not that they're really that hard. And that is this one here. The, uh, what's that one? The uh, elevator switch? Or is that the other? Anyway, this switch here. Okay, this one is the first one I would replace because it's a little bit more complicated than the others. Okie dokie. Now, what you will need to do this switch replacement, you will of course need replacement switches. Now, uh, they need to be actually the right size. Uh, they need to be a three position toggle switch. Okay, you've got your center, that side. Oh, okay, there we go. Three position toggle switch. Three contacts on the end there. As I said, they need to be the right size. Now, I'll put a, a link up on the um, sorry the forum. The forum. Uh, I'll make a web page on the forum on how to do this, and there'll be a link there and where to get these switches. Uh, I found one eBay supplier I use, um, and yeah, to get the right size switch, it's important that diameter is right. Okay, so you will need at least three of those. You will also need. Uh, a one kilo ohm resistor. Now it's very unlikely you'll be able to buy just one, you know, so you'll probably have to buy a pack. Uh, but you'll need a one kilo ohm resistor. And you will also need, if you can find, and again, I do have quite a few of these on the on here at RC Tanks Australia, and I might put, make them available, but um, just some wires terminated in a JST PH crimp. Um, about, you know, just over 15 centimeters, just over 6 inches long. Okay, so you'll need at least two of those. First thing you need to do with your, is to set up that switch replacement. Now this is only the LE switch. This is, you only need to do this for this particular switch. And I, as I suggest, this is the one you do first. But um, the first thing you need to do is wire your 1K resistor across these two end contacts. Okay, if you have the resistor body there touching that, that should be fine, but probably best to have a bit of space between the resistor body and the contact. So we're going to wire, see that? Wire the resistor across these two end pins. And you can just uh, pop the resistor wire through there. And, um, well, you, I think you pretty much get the drift. Pop the resistor wire through there and you can, you can solder him on, like <laughs> my hands are in the way, like so. You then, once you've soldered that, you would solder on one with one of your PH wires. You will solder that to the middle contact. Okay, so he goes there. And fortunately, this is one I've prepared earlier. Okay, so you have your JST, sorry, your PH wire connected to the middle pin, and you have between the two end pins your one kilo ohm resistor. Okay, now this will be your replacement switch for the elevator switch, the LE switch. Okay, so prepare one of those. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you, you have to, to get this switch operating, there's a slight modification you need to make to the PCB, and this is the only one you need to make. Okay, it's very, oh, the sun, the light's going, but anyway, if we 
bring it up closer here, you'll see, and I'll get this in focus, there, R22. See how there's nothing in R22 as I try and keep this steady? What you need to do is solder a jumper across, make that contact. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. I am going to go into the soldering room and I'm going to solder that contact and then resume the video. Okay, back. Now, um, as I said, I just went away quickly to solder that, that uh, contact. Let's call it the, the connection there. And as you can see, bring it back into focus here. Well, it'll go into focus. Come on, go into focus. There we go. Okay, as you can see, I've soldered a little bit of wire across this contact here. So R22 is, uh, is bridged. Okay, also when I was away, I have uh, loosened this, the, um, the nuts on the back here because remember we're replacing this switch, this switch, and the, uh, which, oh, sorry, this switch, this switch, and this switch. So I've, I've loosened them off. So simple matter of untwisting them. Okay, and we, you want to keep those nuts. Um, actually, Hobby King have now got those in as replacement parts. So I stocked up on them when they were available. And uh, this one at the top here. And get him off. Okay, there we go. So this is the switch we're replacing first up at the moment. Okay, so push him through. Okay, and um, try and get, uh, just wiggle him through there. He'll come out. There we go. Okie dokie, there we go. So here's our connections to this existing elevator switch. We have, let me get this all cleared up here. Okay. Oh, I've, no, I haven't. Okay. Now we have um, a, a black wire, which is your ground wire, a blue wire, and this contact here is, is free. Now, what you're going to need to do is, uh, and I'll do that here. You're going to, well, I'll do that when I go away. Actually, uh, you need to disconnect both both of these wires, obviously, because this switch is coming out. Now, um, go ahead and do that. You'll need to, this black wire will connect up to your replacement elevator switch, three position switch, and I'll show you that. This blue wire, okay, becomes actually vacant. You won't do anything with this blue wire um, when you replace this switch. This one will actually go on to the next switch. But since we're just doing this one at the moment, this blue wire will be free. So what I'll do is I'm going to go away again. I'm going to disconnect these two wires and connect up the replacement switch. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've removed the old switch and I've put in a new switch, which of course is the one that has the resistor across there. Um, if I can bring this in a little bit closer here with the shadow. Okay, and all I have done is I have connected the black wire from the previous switch. I've just soldered that to one of these end contacts. Okay, the black wire goes to one of those end contacts. Okay, we have the JST lead attached to the middle contact and we have the resistor between the two end contacts. Okay, now the other thing I did was I've unplugged this connection. Okay, now this, oh, the lighting is gonna be a bit difficult here. I hope you guys can see, I'll turn things around. Okay, uh, I've disconnected this connection from the port down there. The reason I've done that is because you'll note there is a spare connector. See how there's a spare hole there? This is where this green connection goes in. Okay, so as I said, if you've already got some JST uh, pH plugs, it's, it becomes very simple. You then just um, slot this connector into that spare connector pin there. Simple as that. And we attach him back up. Just plug that back in to there. Okay, I'll secure that connection. There we go, secured. Okay, now that is actually all you need to do to replace that switch, the LE switch. Okay, um, you would 
obviously it makes sense to continue on because you now have a spare wire running around and you just simply have to connect that up to the another switch and you've got a second three position switch okay and that's what i'll do next okie dokie um so that switch has been replaced simple matter now easiest way i have that well for best orientation your your black wire will go towards the bottom Okay, and then so you position that to the bottom, and then you just push your switch back through its uh, the hole it needs to go through. There we go. Okay, so just he just goes through there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're going to replace the next switch we're going to replace is this switch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to go away and I'm going to uh, take the wires off and then pop back 